When you hear about tax filing statuses, you've likely heard of filing single, married filing jointly, and married filing separately. But did you know that there's a fourth filing status? We're gonna talk about that filing status today, what it is, what it means, and what the benefits are from filing as such. So this magical fourth filing status is called head of household. What does head of household mean? The filing status of head of household was created to provide a tax benefit to single parents, although it does provide a benefit for other taxpayers as well. So what are the benefits of the HOH or head of household filing status? If you qualify to file as a head of household or HOH, then you're gonna benefit from a 50% higher standard deduction than someone who's filing single. Your marginal tax bracket is also shifted when you file as a head of household, so you end up paying lower taxes. Finally, when it came to that 2020 stimulus payment, the income phase out level was actually higher for HOH or head of household filers than it was for single filers. Next, who can file as a head of household or HOH? There are very specific requirements to file as a head of household. First, you must either be legally single or you have to have been separated from your spouse for at least six months of the year. You must have at least one qualifying child or dependent to claim on your tax return. This can include biological children, adoptive children, foster children, siblings, and even dependent parents. The qualifying member, aside from a dependent parent, must have resided with you for at least half the year. A dependent parent is excluded from that requirement. If you are claiming a qualifying parent or a dependent parent, then you do have to have paid for at least half of their expenses for the year, even if they didn't live with you. Finally, to file as a head of household, you have to have paid for at least half of the cost of keeping up your house for the year. What that means is if you lived with somebody else, but maybe a boyfriend or a roommate or somebody, you know, somebody else you shared uh, house expenses with, you have to have paid at least half of the upkeep for the home. So that includes, you know, food, cost of the house, rent, utilities, all of those expenses. You as head of household, in order to qualify as head of household, have to have paid at least half of those expenses. Once you've decided that you do qualify to file as head of household, how do you do it? In order to file as a head of household, there is a form that you have to fill out either before or with your 1040 tax return. The form is called the 886-H-HOH. This form is also a fantastic resource for determining if you qualify to file for the HOH status. The head of household filing status can provide great tax benefit compared to filing single. So if you think you qualify for this filing status, please check with your tax advisor or complete that form 866-H-HOH to check your eligibility to file as HOH or head of household. If you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, go ahead and leave a comment below. And then I highly, highly suggest you head on over to our Facebook community, Money, Taxes, and Finance for Small Business, because these topics are what we talk about on a regular basis and have live trainings on every week. You can access that group by clicking the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and while you're loving on me hard, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video.